Hey, good morning. How are we today? Glad to see you here. I see there's one on. I imagine we're probably going to get at least one or two more. We're going to give it just a minute or so to see what happens. Boy, what a change in the weather from yesterday to today, huh? Wow. Yesterday it was what in the it was 70 degrees here in Mayville, Wisconsin. And now this morning it's not even 40. Welcome to Wisconsin in the spring. Actually, last night I got an alert from I followed the National Weather Service on Twitter and I get alerts from them on my phone. And I got an alert from Twitter from the National Web Weather Service that uh, Sheboygan had suddenly dropped from 70 degrees down to 40, like, like almost a 30 degree drop, just about like that. That's, that's amazing. I imagine people in Sheboygan were like, what? So we'll give it maybe 30 seconds or so. No cardio today. Julie, if that's you watching, you're welcome. Ooh, we're down to zero. Going for strength today, and that's it. Just a strength workout. Uh, Going to do a little bit of warm up. We got three circuits of three exercises. While I've got the chance, I want to recognize every firefighter out there today. Today is May fourth, two thousand twenty. If you're watching this sometime in the future. Uh, May 4th is International Firefighters Day. So if you know a firefighter and you see a fire and you see a firefighter today, uh, wish them a happy International Firefighters Day or just short it up and say happy Firefighters Day. And we got two on now. Yeah, that's awesome. So May 4th, International Firefighters Day. I can't say enough about what firefighters do for people in their communities. Um, and I, I'm just a volunteer. Uh, and, and I say ju just a volunteer, but like 70% of the fire service, 70, somewhere between 70 and 90%, I think it's closer to 90% of the fire service is volunteer. In case you didn't know that, like the vast majority of firefighters are volunteer in the United States. Uh, the, the career guys, I have crazy amounts of respect for them. Uh, those guys are hardcore. Uh, volunteers, though, we, all, we always need people. We always need people in volunteer fire service. So we're going to get started with some warm-up stuff. You're going to need a section of wall today. Just an empty section of wall. If you like doing, hey, I cut my head off. If you like doing your floor exercises with a mat, you will also need a mat, and I've got mine right over here. Uh, if you need a water bottle, make sure you have a water bottle handy and nearby. We're going to start with a little bit of warm-up, and we're just going to open those hips up, bring it up and across the body, up and across the body, up and across the body, kind of drawing an arc with your knee. The, the hand motion is optional but it does help you feel more, shall we say, ridiculous. Now this is a lift, a swing a little bit out to the side, getting those hip flexors working. We're gonna be using those hip flexors quite a bit today. So be prepared as always. If something hurts, don't do it. There's nothing here that should be painful for you. We're not going super intense. We're not doing burpees. We're not doing high impact cardio stuff today. We're just doing some good strength. I just noticed the bottom of my thing is unzipped. There we go. Two and one. Now, hands against the wall. I just mentioned a moment ago that you're gonna need a section of wall. All we're gonna do is we're going to reach up and out to the side. Reach up and out to the other side. Just doing that rotation and reach. Really open up the shoulder, really open up the chest. We're rotating through the hips, rotating through the torso.
Now, maybe significantly chillier today than it was yesterday, but hey, let's look on the bright side. And the bright side is there's a big bright thing in the sky called the sun that we can actually see today. One more here on the other side. Swim those hips, getting them warm, getting them open, loosening up a little bit, preparing those hip flexors and the hip abductors in the sides of the hip here and the external rotators, shall we say, preparing those for some good work. Four, three, two, one, and then over here, alternating, reach out and rotate, I love this one, reach out and rotate. <sighs> something for balance, fine, but I want you to feel right back through there, engage. Like you're trying to put your shoe print on the wall, but you don't actually touch the wall. Two and one, nice. Some good balance work here, especially some dynamic balance work because that center of gravity is constantly changing for you, which is kind of the way it is in real life. It's very rare that your center of gravity stays static and you have to balance. Usually it's something is moving, namely you. Two and one, nice. We're going to do that one more time on each side. Feel that glute really engage at the back of that motion to get that hip extended. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, feel that glute, whatever you want to do with the hands. Three, two, one. Right on. Wiggling everything out a little bit, shaking everything out. We're going to start with our backs to the wall. And we've got three exercises in a row with back to the wall. A couple of these we've already done. One of them I think is going to be new to you. So if you've got that to look forward to, it's a little bit closer. I need to keep an eye on you people. So I've got my back to the wall. My feet walked out in front just a little bit. Hips are connected, okay? 
hands together. I'm going to reach down. My hip stays connected here, but my shoulder can come away from the wall, or you can roll on the shoulders. Either way, I'm going to touch down low. I'm going to touch up high, and I'm rocking from side to side on my hips. Where do you want to focus here? You want to feel those abdominals engage to get you to rotate far enough to touch low, touch high, touch low, touch high. One more. Nice. Now, of course, what we do on one side, we're probably going to do on the other side, and that's what we're going to do here. So, hands together, we're going to reach down low to the other side, high here, rocking on those hips. Three, two, one, right on. Second exercise. We've done this before. The farther out away from the wall you walk on this, the farther your feet get away, the more challenging this exercise is going to feel. So find that sweet spot where it feels like you can do, we're going to do maybe 12-ish reps. Find that sweet spot where you can do those reps, but it feels challenging to complete them. I'm pushing my elbows against the wall to lift my upper back away from the wall. So I'm doing this against the wall. And Vincent Price is laughing at me. Three and two and one. Third exercise, also back to the wall. This one you want to get up a little bit closer to the wall with your feet. Okay, my feet are maybe 10 to 12 inches away from the wall right now. They're very close together, side by side. I'm going to lift one leg up, keeping my hips and my shoulders connected to the wall. My goal here is to keep that posture tall enough that my shoulders and my hips stay connected to the wall and to get this knee and hip up to 90 degrees so my thigh is parallel to the floor. Where are you going to feel this? <laughs> You'll find out right away. This is such a simple exercise. It is not an easy exercise, I'm telling you. So you're going to feel it right all the way through the quadricep. You're going to feel it down in that hip flexor. You're probably going to feel the abdominals on this. What can you do to help? You can put your hands against the wall if you want and press a little bit against the wall. Try not to press your elbows against the wall. You're going to press yourself away from the wall there. But hands on the wall just to brace. Three, two, one. Lower that down nice and easy. Same thing other side. As goes one, so goes the other. Here we go. You can get fingertips or hands on the wall if you want. Lift that up to 90 degrees. Hips and shoulders connected to the wall. So you got great tall posture. We got this knee lifted up, thigh parallel to the floor. My other foot is maybe 10 to 12 inches away from the wall. Just holding it static. That's it. Just holding it static. It seems really boring. This is a tough exercise. This targets a muscle called the psoas. No, not psoas. Psoas. The psoas connects your thigh up into your low back, into your spine, your core. It is, I believe, the only muscle that directly connects your legs to your core. That psoas gets weak 
and short to one in a large number of people. And it can result in low back aches. It can result in instability in the hips. If it gets super tight, it can start pulling you down like this. Your low back will fight to lift you back up. And that's where tightness and soreness in the low back can often come from. We're going to go back up to the top of that set. Hands together, feet a little bit wider apart, about hip width or so, maybe slightly wider, down low, up high. Keeping those hips connected to the wall and kind of rocking side to side of the hips. Can you do this if you don't have a section of wall? Yeah, you can do this if you don't have a section of wall. But what are your hands going to touch, really? Three and two and one. Other side, right away. What are we doing wasting so much time talking? There's work to get done, right? I hope you all have a fun weekend. I got to spend some good time outside, some good time inside, have an all around experience. Two more, two, and one. Second one, elbows against the wall, walk down a little further, push, return. Lower it down nice and easy. Five, four, three, two, one. Third exercise. Remember the hold here? Do it again. Feet are maybe 10 or 12 inches away from the wall. Hips and shoulders connected to the wall. Don't let yourself slouch down into this. Keep that posture tall. Lift that knee up to 90 and hold it. Remember that tall spine, that back is against the wall. That wall's there to remind you, nice tall posture. Nice and tall. You can get hands against the wall if that helps you feel more grounded, if that helps you feel more stable. Otherwise, Whatever spine. Oh, I just saw a check how to pop up. We finish off this one. Two and one. We're gonna go to the other leg. Should your foot be flexed for this? You mean your the one that's lifted up? This one. So if, if you're talking, Julie, about, and I got my back and shoulders moving to the other side, if you're talking about this foot right here, doesn't really matter. If you want to keep that toe pointed up, that's okay. If you prefer just to let it relax and dangle, that really doesn't affect this exercise very much, if at all. Where this exercise is targeting is right in here. So from the hip down here, Okay. And that's not affected very much by flexion of the ankle. That being said, if you feel like flexing the ankle helps you hold this position, go right ahead. Your mileage may vary. Five, three, two, one. Oh. 
shake it out a little bit. We're going to go one more time to the Fed Circuit of Three, and then we are going to move on to a different circuit of three exercises. Hips connected to the floor. Hands, chop, chop. Right hip, left hip. Right hip, left hip. Two and one. Other side, right away. Here we go. Left hip, right hip. Left hip, right hip. Four, three, two, one. Elbows against the wall, walk down. The farther away from the wall you walk, the more challenge you're going to feel in this exercise. Elbows push away, lower down. Push away, lower down. Three, two, and one. Walk in just a little closer. Lift that knee up and hold. Flex or not, your choice. Shoulders connected. Put your hands against the wall. That helps you feel more balanced, more stable, more grounded, if you will. Try and keep that knee up at 90 degrees. Parallel to the floor. Like, like the stripes on my, on my, on my warm-up pants. Yeah, just like my stripes. Three, two, one. Other side, ready? Up, hold. This is not a high impact exercise. It's not an exercise that gets you jumping around, but boy, this is a targeted exercise that feels tough on the third set. This is actually a really good test of endurance and strength in your hip flexors and in that muscle I mentioned before, the psoas. And time, nice. All right, moving on to three different exercises. Get yourself a sip of water if you need it. This time we're gonna go facing into the wall. And for all three of these exercises, we're gonna have hands connected to the wall. Okay, so we're going to start with right there. Nice wide stance, like up against the wall, assume the position. And yeah, okay, officer. All right, hands down. Okay, so we're below shoulder height with the hands. Feet are wide apart, much wider than hip width apart. I'm pushing into the wall. I'm going to push my hips back. Down into a squat, back up into a stand. Down into a squat, back up into a stand. Pushing those hands into the wall. Especially as I come back up, focus on pushing yourself forward like you're trying to put your handprints into the wall. 
When you do that, I want you to feel those glutes really engage. I want you to feel those shoulders work. Two and one. Oh, yeah, shoulders, right? Hands on the wall, feet way back, close together with each. Okay, so I'm in a wall plank here with a very, very close stance, hands and feet. We're gonna step out to the left, together, out to the right, together. <laughs> Two and one. A lot of shoulders there, a little core there. We're down to one. What did I say? Was it to talk about the weather? Knee up, kick back. Knee up, kick back. Four and three and two and one and kick. Same thing, other side. Up, back. Pulling that knee in, kicking that leg back. Feel that glute engage, maybe the hamstring. Two more, two and one. All right, three exercises, hands against the wall. We're gonna go back up to the top of that. Get yourself a quick drink of water if you need it. Wipe off a little sweat if you need to. And walls in the hands squat. Here we go. Push yourself up and into that wall. I want you to feel some forward force as you come up out of that squat. Three and two and one. Yeah, oh boy, anybody else feeling their shoulders on that? Close stance. Big, long, close wall plank. Step together. Four. Three, two, one. Going into knee drive, kick back. Ready? Knee drive, kick back. Bring it in tight, get it out long. Four, three, two, and one. Same thing, other side. Ready?
five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, shake those arms out a little bit. Wow. Let's go one more time for those three exercises. Get a quick sip of water if you need it. Back to the wall when you're ready. We're going to go with five, four, three, two, one. Push into that wall, squat, up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. Three, two, one. Hands on the wall, long plank, close hands, close feet, step together, step together. Four, three, two, one. Whew. One last one there. Knee drive, kick it back. Ready? Knee drive, kick it back. Feel that glute engage as you extend the hip. Four, three, two, one. My triceps are starting to talk to me a little bit. How are you? Yeah? Knee drive, kick back. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Get a quick sip of water. Come back. We're going to do some mat work for our last three sets of extra, or the last set of three exercises, I should say. Got a water bottle? Drink them if you got them. I unfortunately left my water bottle all the way over the other side of the room. I don't feel like I absolutely need it, so I'm just going to let it go. Just let it go. All right. Three more exercises to go. And then we're going to stretch it out. How's everybody doing? Doing good? All right. So, these three exercises should seem pretty familiar. We've done them before. First exercise. On your back, knees back. Plant that elbow. Set up and punch. Set up and punch. Punching up like you want to put a hole in the ceiling. Driving back with your elbow to help push you up into that setup. So you got abs working. You got your shoulder working. Hips working a little bit. Three, two, one. Oh, La Isla Bonita currently playing in the radio. Elbow down, punch up. Here we go. I remember that song from, was that 1987? I'm pretty sure I remember that song coming out in 1987. I'm going to have to look that up over time. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. 
One more. Oh, yeah. Need a Plank. Walk your hands out. Walk your hands back. The farther out you can walk, awesome. Of course, the farther out you walk, the more you're going to feel that as those abs. Three, two, one. My moral pants keep slipping on those. My knees are sliding. I think we use the wall as a brace next time, so I'm going to move this a little bit closer to the wall so I can get my feet up against that. All right, hands on the floor, feet on the floor, up into a push-up position, climb, climb. Told you we were working a lot of that hip flexion today. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. You people are doing awesome. Julie, I'm so glad you're here today. You've been so motivated. You should totally be proud of yourself. I'm calling you out in front of everybody. Julie, you rock. You've been rocking all these workouts. Elbow down. Feet flat on the floor. Punch up to the ceiling. A lot of abs in this circuit. If you need to back off a little bit, if you need to cut back on reps a little bit, that's fine. You do you. This is your workout. No one else can see what you're doing or not doing. Two more. Try back with that elbow. Ah. Oh. Other side, elbow down, punch up. Here we go. Punch. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Oh, dude, we really have to do these plank walkouts. Yes, we do. All right, into a kneeling plank. Here we go. Remember, I told you I was going to brace my feet up against the wall because my knees kept sliding in my warm up pants. <clears throat> that is helping me feel a lot more secure. Like I'm not going to slide off the mat and I can focus on what my hands and my core are doing. Three and back, two and back, and one and back. Oh. Yeah. Abs, abs, abs. Here we go. Push up position. Climb nice and slow. Feel those abs squeeze. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo wee! <laughs> All right, last circuit. Get a quick sip of water if you need it. Flat that elbow down on the floor. Feet flat on the floor. We're gonna sit up. 
drive back with that elbow and punch up toward the ceiling. Here we go. Punch. Punch. Three, two, one. Switching sides. Other side. Elbow drives down. Set of punch. Three, two, and go. Boom. Three, and two, and last one. Oh, yeah. All right. Hands and knees into a kneeling version of a plank. Those hips are forward. I've got my feet raised up against the wall. Walk out as far as you feel confident, and then back in. Out. And back in. As far as I feel confident going. <laughs> going four and back. Three and back. Two. And back, last one, and back, ah. Right on, last exercise of the day before we stretch out, slow climbers, up into that tall plank position, here we go, knee, knee. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. You're awesome. Right on. All right. So, we did a lot of work with legs, did a lot of work with hips today. We're going to start with a little stretch on the floor. We're going to gradually work into a stretch on our knees, and then gradually work into stretching out, standing up. So, stretching on the floor, your basic modified hurdler stretch. Pull this foot tight in, reach out toward your toe. You should feel this back here and under here. Underwear, well, what you said underwear. Ah, oh, that feels good. I hope you've been listening to some awesomely motivating music. And if you don't have any, I hope that your child has been singing some awesomely motivating music to you with maybe like a play microphone. Because everyone knows that's going to get you to work harder. Switch your sides. Oh, I'm tight to the camp on that side. Like, unexpectedly, I just saw a comment come up. I bet it's something good. I think it's something good. I can't read from here because I'm not wearing my glasses right now. I'm an old man with old vision. Hold this maybe another five seconds or so. Uh, it's like you can see me through the TV. 
Ah. All right. Butterfly stretch. Trying to get those knees down as low as you can. So if they're up here, try to push them down. Nice, tall posture. So I'm sitting up as tall as I can. I'm not slouching forward to get this stretch. Sitting up tall to really help emphasize those inner thighs, those hip adductors. Oh, you can actually feel the point where they start to relax and your knees start to drop down a little bit lower. I love that point where you can feel that stretch actually start to work and that muscle starts to lengthen out. That is my favorite spot in that stretch. All right, we did a ton of work with those hip flexors today. And I'm gonna show you a fantastic stretch for the hip flexor and the psoas, that muscle that's deep inside that connects the, uh, the, the upper leg up into the low back into your core, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tuck this in so you can see a little better. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna down, I'm down on one knee. Think of my, your hips as a cereal bowl. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tip that cereal bowl backwards, almost like you're trying to point your belt buckle up to the ceiling. So I'm squeezing through my glute. I'm tucking this under. I'm tilting this up and back. So watch. There. See that? The stripes on my pants help you see that. So I'm tipping back as you do that. You feel a very strong, distinct stretch, at least I do, right here in the hip flexor and deep down inside there, okay? Really getting into that psoas muscle. Okay. Notice I'm tall over the top of my knee. I'm not way leaning forward on this. I'm not trying to artificially get that stretch just by leaning forward. I'm getting that stretch by tilting the pelvic area, tilting the pelvic region, tipping those hips back, pouring the cereal bowl out behind you, so to speak. Hold this just a few more seconds. You might also feel this really stretching out the quads, and I would expect that. Oh, I can feel that hip really relaxed now. Oh, that's nice. Let's get that same thing on the other side. So just for your benefit, so you can see my stripes. Okay. I'm tall with my whole knee. I'm not leaning like this to try and get that stretch. I am getting that pelvic tilt backwards to try and get that stretch. So I'm squeezing through the glute to push the hip back, trying to get that belt buckle pointing up to the sky as I do that. That is the stretch that's gonna get into that psoas muscle. Leaning forward into that, doesn't really do much of anything for the psoas muscle. You might feel like hip flexor stretch a little bit, but that lean forward, remember I mentioned that your leg is connected to your, your core, your low back by that psoas muscle. If you lean forward into that, that psoas muscle doesn't change shape at all. It just follows you. It's like stretching out a band and then doing this. It doesn't affect the shape of that psoas or length that psoas at all. But here, we're lengthening that hip from inside by tilting it up to really to get that psoas stretched out. Oh, feel my quad now, which means the hip flexor is really relaxing into this stretch. Ah. Uh, there we go. We're gonna do one last stretch. This one standing, and we almost, we, we often, often finish with this stretch. Just a rag doll down. So it's gonna relax down. It's okay to let the knees bend on this. Just get those fingertips as close to the floor as you're able to. Feel that back stretch out. Feel those hamstrings, if they're still tight, stretch out.
Hold it just a couple more seconds. And then we're now, starting now, we're gonna just roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae, just a little bit at a time. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, until you're standing nice and tall. All right. Thank you for being with me today. Really enjoyed our time together. I did. Uh, I, I, I woke up not wanting to do this. We had a fire call overnight and I woke up and I was, I was pretty beat. I was tired. So I, I'm glad you guys were here with me this morning, helping motivate me to keep moving. Uh, because if you hadn't been here, I might not have been here either. Uh, I might have just slept in. Julie, thank you. I really appreciate you and, and all the support you've been giving. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Get plenty of water today. It's going to be a little chillier, but the sun should be shining. So get outside. Soak up some, some sunshine. Um, go get a coffee from the open door. If you're right here local or from your local coffee, coffee shop, get one to take out. If, uh, if there's a coffee shop nearby you, if you're not right here in Mayville. Um, and, uh, and if you have any more questions about any services that we offer, upcoming classes, things like that, go check out my website, uh, www.royceholly.us. Uh, be well.